In order to weld brace, really MIG brace, using silicone bronze wire, you uh, would want to set up your tank, 100% uh, argon. You have programs here for O30 with pulse, without pulse, and O35 with pulse. In uh, O30 with pulse, this, is, this would be my personal preferred program. You, um, you want to start at an arc length plus zero, zero. Typically, I see people go up or down one or two volts operator's preference. Uh, flow rate about 40 CFH of 100% argon. And then you have uh, estimated material thickness here that changes as you go. And um, in the next video, we will cover a technique on how silicon bronze is used, where silicon bronze is used, and, and how to use it. On silicon bronze, typically the parent metal does not liquefy. Uh, a start, good start speed would be anywhere between 60 and 80%. Start time 0.3. Um, a burn back 004, a pinch of uh, no more than 70. A uh, slope down is not necessarily required. You have a pre-flow and a post-flow. Um, a longer post-flow can be nice. More than two or three seconds is really not required. And here you can set your standard and uh, um, metric settings for your machine. If you're in the auto body world where you would like to have your material thickness displayed in metric, you can just um, switch this over to metric and your material thickness is now displayed in metric. So is your wire feed rate. Silicone bronze, you have an O30 with pulse, O30 without pulse. If you live in the auto body world, there's certain car manufacturers that require you to absolutely have pulse. Um, there is still like two or three left that will not allow you to use pulse on their vehicles. There's a program without pulse. There's an O35 program with pulse, which um, has shown that some brands of wire um, do not agree with the programming in here. So this can be tricky. The O30 program is pretty much foolproof and accepts, um, accepts any brand of wire. So especially doing thin material, um, O30 would be my preferred um, program with pulse.